Ladies and gentlemen, this is very, very exciting. We are here with Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode one and two that both released at the same time. I didn't realize they were releasing at 9 p.m. on Thursday, so I kind of missed it. I would have uploaded them right as they came out. I would have reacted and tried to upload them as quick as possible before Stranger Things came out, but sadly, I just didn't know. Um, if I knew, I would have watched them earlier. So we're a little late here, but that's okay. We got four more episodes coming out every single Tuesday night. Um, throughout the week. It's, I don't know if they're coming out at 9 p.m. or 12 a.m. along with Miss Marvel, but yeah, we got those. Then we got The Boys Season 3 coming out this week. Lots of stuff to look forward to, but this I'm most looking forward to. I just rewatched the prequels. If you saw me on Twitter tweeting about them as I was watching them, sat down, watched all three um, all in a row in the same day. I've seen them like hundreds of times when I was little and I really enjoyed them and I, again, as an adult now, I better understand them. I, after watching Clone Wars as well, I understand them significantly more and appreciate them a lot more. They were better when I was a kid, but Revenge of the Sith now is just, oof, that is so, so good. Best Star Wars movie by far, my favorite. So I'm really excited to hop in to the sequel to Revenge of the Sith here. We're gonna see Obi-Wan, we're gonna see Anakin, Hayden Christensen back. There's going to be Inquisitors, so much to look forward to. And plus, uh, I've been hearing since the Star Wars celebration is going on right now, there's a bunch of trailers coming out. So after I'm done with these two episodes, I'll probably end up reacting to those trailers. Um, lots of stuff, like they're just announcing shows left and right. I think there's been a trailer for Ahsoka, I don't exactly know yet. Star Wars is very, very hype right now. I'm wondering if we're going to see Ahsoka in this series at all. I feel like that would be so cool. Obi-Wan and Ahsoka meeting up I don't know, to maybe duel... Vader, I don't know. I have a feeling she won't be in this, but um, maybe we'll get some other cameos. Maybe we're gonna get Cal from Jedi Fallen Order. I still need to beat that game. I was streaming it. We streamed, I think, three or four parts, and then um, I was only getting like one viewer, so I just ended up not uh, streaming it anymore. So yeah, I'll probably just end up playing Jedi Fallen Order offline, but I know they just released a trailer for the next game. I'm gonna save off on reacting to that until I beat Jedi Fallen Order, but um, yeah, I'm hoping we get live action Cal in this, or maybe just in, in the future at some point. Same with, I want the Force Unleashed dude to get a live action Star Killer. I feel like that'd be so cool. There's just so much they can do right now since they're expanding the Star Wars universe like tenfold. I know there's new animated projects coming out. I think Star Wars Visions as well is getting another series um, or season, but I'm not really into Star Wars Visions as much. I reacted to all of them, but uh, of course uh, they're not like tied into the canon, so they're not as interesting to me. Everything in the canon, I really, really like. So subscribe if you enjoy Star Wars, lots of stuff to look forward to here on the channel. But for now, let's hop into Obi-Wan Kenobi, part one. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. We're getting a recap on the prequels. All right, I'll watch this even though I just binged all three of them. Honestly, the prequels are so good. I, I like them more than the original trilogy. Don't hurt me. Also, again, while I'm watching this this um, recap here, I am reacting to Clone Wars. We're three seasons in, maybe four actually. I, I kind of forgot. It's really good. The part we're at where it is really, really good. But um, if there's some references here to some Clone Wars stuff I haven't seen yet, then I'm sorry. I might not fully understand some stuff just until we get there in Clone Wars at least. Or Bad Batch or any of that. Dude, this, this recap's getting me so hyped. Uh, I can't wait to see this in Clone Wars too. I feel, I'm pretty sure it's going to show all of it, right? In Season 7. You were my brother. The high ground. <laughs> Oh wow, it ties in so well with the Clone Wars episodes that we're on right now, where he just figured out, or he just proved to to um, the overlords that he's the chosen one. Darth Vader. Oh yeah, we're gonna see Luke and Leia too. Jar Jar, better make an appearance. Nah, he doesn't need to. That'd be funny though. Him, I will teach you. Oh, yeah, we're gonna see Qui Gon, ghost form probably. Wait, but why does he say he'll teach him? 
When he already- Oh, uh, he didn't mean to in Clone Wars. Qui-Gon just appears sometimes. Now he actually knows how to. We had such a big Star Wars drought about 10 years ago or something. Just nothing. And then we got the sequels, which were like, okay. I was really getting back into Star Wars at that point. And look at us now. Oh, we're seeing some younglings? Are we, are we gonna see a young Obi-Wan training? Oh no, never mind. Oh, oh, this is Order 66. And are those? Yeah, practical clones, I'm pretty sure. Oh my. Where's Grogu? Get Grogu. Oh, this looks so good. I love the shine on their armor and everything. Are we gonna see Anakin coming? No. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look straight out of playing like the old Battlefront 2 on the Coruscant map. Execute Order 66. This is so good already. I love the prequel era. I just want to see like, I know this is going to be in between the prequel era and uh, the original, but I just want to see a whole show on just the prequel era. I want to see live action clones. Just, they look so good. 10 years later. Okay. I'm going to be talking a lot on this, by the way. I'm just too hyped. More Tatooine, of course. <laughs> oh, I haven't met this guy in Clone Wars, so don't be in the comments like, did you? You, blah, 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 blah. you know, I haven't met him yet. Inquisitors. I'm also not going to be mad at his design or anything. I've seen the comparisons. They do look cool in Revenge of the Sith, obviously. But he looks a little different here, but it's okay. I don't think he looks that bad. You know, aliens come in all different heads, shapes, and sizes. This man just growled. Uh-oh. Who is the hidden Jedi here? You know who we are. Inquisitors. You know what we do? You hunt Jedi. Do you know the key to hunting Jedi, friend? It is um, sniffing? Oh, patience. Oh. He saved the guy. Yep, they can't help it. It's that guy. Dang. Prepare him for interrogation. You're wasting your time, you know that, right? You'll never find us all. Why is she so bloodthirsty? What the heck? That's not gonna stop you. Why'd she stop? You are reckless. She just wants to go after Kenobi. Hmm. And she just wants to kill. This guy wants to interrogate. Is that a big, like, whale boat? Yeah, it's a fish. Because Tatooine used to be a sea, or an ocean. Like, how long ago, though? How long ago was Tatooine an ocean? How is that big fish still there? You'd feel like the, the two suns would melt that skin pretty quick. Maybe they're gonna make a prequel to, to when it was an ocean planet, because, like, they keep mentioning it, like, over and over again in Boba Fett. What's up, Kenobi? Gonk. Gonk, gonk. Family. One more word, I take it all. Hmm. Obi Wan can't do anything. Or Something can he? Boom. That sucks having all the power but being completely powerless. Cal couldn't do it at the beginning of Jedi Fallen Order. Does he live alone? Does he got anyone to talk to? Jawas. Anchorhead, that's the big fish. You have it? Oh, that Jawa. Is this the first time they've translated Jawa? They always just speak and then people respond, right? Or maybe not. Lightsaber belt. I've heard the Jedi are all but extinct. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure there's a few thousand, maybe hundreds. Do that just give him hope that there's more out there? I thought he knew. Not every Jedi had a clone around them at the time of Order 66. 
think of the, the statistics. If two at least survived on his own planet, Coruscant, alone, Yoda and him, then imagine all the other planets that have multiple Jedi that survived. There's probably a good thousand out there, in my opinion, but maybe not. Maybe they all had clones around them. And Ahsoka survived as well, so three from his own place. One planet. Oh my god. I loved Anakin's acting in Revenge of the Sith. I don't know why everybody says he's such a bad actor. Maybe just because of Attack of the Clones. Has he forgotten the Jedi way? Does he have to meditate and stuff? Get his power back? Then he can speak to Qui-Gon? I wonder why he only watches it after Luke and not Leia, right? I thought I saw you in town, but I wasn't sure. I didn't think you'd survive. Uh oh. You're making some kind of mistake. I'm sorry, my name is Nari. There's no mistake. <laughs> this guy's stupid. My name is Ben. Come on, please. You know where to go. They're hunting me. You have to help me. You want my help? Take this. Walk into the middle of the desert and bury it in the ground. Hmm. I don't think he'll let it go. Is that what Obi-Wan did though? Buried his lightsaber? Oh my gosh, wait, this is Leia. Getting some young Leia. Wow, I didn't, didn't think we were going to get that for some reason. Ugh. She insisted you would find it amusing, your highness. <laughs> what is that? Uh, Leia doesn't want to be the princess. Maybe. Yep. She has a little droid. A little droid friend. Whoa. It's like a ladybug. Pleasure barge, boring. <laughs> it is like raising a gorek. <laughs> uh oh. No way someone's gonna be hunting her. I mean, I guess, yeah, she's brother to Luke. She's got the force in her. Or daughter of Anakin. It takes home such small portions just to go the next day and get more. It doesn't seem like that meat goes bad. He could probably take a whole bunch. Uh oh. A Jedi hiding on this planet. We need to know where he is. You will be rewarded well. Or you'll be punished. Riva! Hands go first. Ugh. We're not under the Empire. Oh. oh. She does not play. You know something? Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. You got a Jedi on that farm too? No. Why should I believe you? I how, do, how does she know? Jedi. <laughs> Jedi vermin. Uh, you think you could protect them from me? No. Tell me where the Jedi is, or this man and his family die! What? Why? That is so convenient. But. Uh... There is no point in protecting them. They would not do the same for you. Is any Jedi gonna come forth? One, one better than, than Ben here. Oh, or is Obi gonna come forth? No. Oh. If you remember anything, rewards will be given next time. <laughs> Jeez, fifth brother is crazy. I like this guy. Far. His voice is cool. Maybe you don't go far enough. She does seem like she goes too far. But that's the way of the Sith, I guess. Owen was about to die for him. Didn't do it for you. Well, guess not. Never mind. Oh my gosh, there he is. Anything good today? A trade ship and an Aquilian Ranger. Probably scouring for pirates. That's what I said. <laughs> He's so much older now, wow. I see C-3PO back there. <laughs> you think you're droids? It's good manners. You don't need manners when you're talking to a lower life form. Then I oh my gosh, this kid. To you. Oh. <laughs> never made one decision for yourself in your entire life, and you never will. <laughs> but I can see that. Young Leia is sassy, oh my gosh. You owe him an apology. 
I'd rather be digested by a Jacoby. <laughs> okay. Then it's boring. It's people in itchy clothes arguing. <laughs> well, kind of true. You are an Organa in every way. Also a Skywalker. A little mischievous. What's she doing? Oh, there's somebody in those woods. I thought you though. said you really got R2. Oh, no. Wait, she knows this guy? Hello, princess. Vect. Uh. Oh. What's going on? I don't know if I'm supposed to know who Vect is. I don't, I don't know. How, how are these guys? How would they know that she has the force? That she's a Jedi? <laughs> How are they not catching her yet? Oh, never mind. Is that a device to go save Leia? Yeah, communication with, with Bale, probably. She needs you, Obi-Wan. You're her only hope. <laughs> My duty is to the boy. What about your duty to his sister? She's mm -hmm. as important as he is. Find someone else. Come on. Who are these people? They're not they're not inquisitors. They're probably just bounty hunters, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh, she got captured. Aw, oh, did they hang someone? Probably a Jedi, the Jedi guy. Yeah. Okay, I saw that in the trailer and I was guessing maybe someone's being like force choked or something, but no they're they hung him. What does that mean? Red equal bad. Um. She's headed for Dayu. Oh, that was a bit dramatic, Bale. There is no one I trust more with my child than you. <laughs> oh, that's a little dangerous. I'm not afraid of you. Dang. No one's coming for you. Oh, just you wait. Ben will come. Oh, <laughs> does he know exactly where he buried it? Two lightsabers. He's really just wearing a full Jedi robe right here. Out in public. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. I guess a lot of people are wearing similar clothing, but that one is just so obvious. <laughs> He knows doing this is like a death sentence for him, but he's gotta. Why'd he show that? That was weird. Okay, well, I'm really glad they have these two episodes. That first one was good, but it just ends kind of weird, right? Maybe I'm not the only one that thinks that that was a weird way to end it it's just a nice little intro to the show oh wow i really like that i was i was i was in it but okay my thoughts so far um i did not realize the story or at least maybe it's just the first two episodes or something with are gonna revolve around leia i was not thinking of leia at all coming into this for some reason i just Maybe it's because in like a new hope or something it feels like leia doesn't really know him so him going to save her is kind of weird here Maybe they're just like retconning that or something. Or maybe she just forgot that she knew him. Or maybe he wipes her memory by the end. I don't really know. But I, I feel like in A New Hope they mentioned like meeting for the first time or something. But this is a really good explanation of why he leaves Tatooine to begin with. For Leia, of course. I don't know if he can sense it. He was He's not really... doesn't seem to be able to sense or use a lot of his Jedi powers right now. Like being able to talk to Qui-Gon. I don't know if he can sense that Luke has more of the force in him compared to Leia or why he's so determined to just focus on Luke. But Bale here convinced him to go save Leia because she is just as important as Luke. I'm wondering if by the end of this they're going to announce a new show like they do with the Mandalorian and stuff where by the end they announce like the book of Boba Fett or something. I wonder if they're going to announce a show with young Leia and young Luke training together because we know we've seen some flashbacks to them training before. I feel like that would be a pretty cool thing to, to lead into. I know there's some books about it though. I have so many Star Wars books just because my mom was a big Star Wars fan. She has photos with all the all the cast people, a bunch of signed 
photographs and posters and all this cool stuff. But yeah, we have tons of Star Wars books. I just haven't read any of them. I don't know if they're canon. But I know there are books of Leia training and becoming a Jedi, which obviously wouldn't that wouldn't be canon. But she has trained and I guess semi became a Jedi in some ways. But uh, yeah, I wonder if they're going to do a spinoff of that at all. This was a really good start for the series, though. Jumping straight in, we learned a little bit about the Inquisitors. Got to see that there is more than just Obi-Wan out there. There are a ton of Jedis that are being hunted by Inquisitors right now. And I'm hoping with the second episode, or maybe in a couple future episodes, it jumps over to the Sith side and we get a whole lot of that. Because I want to see what Anakin is up to, not just Obi-Wan. Even though this is just called Obi-Wan Kenobi, I'm very, very much interested in seeing what Vader is up to along with all the Inquisitors as well. Oh, but the start of this episode, guys, oh my gosh. The, the, seeing the, the prequel era again um, in live action without a bunch of animated clones everywhere was really, really cool. I hope we get a lot more of that in the future. That was so hype. I hope, I hope we see some clones. Um, I don't know how old they would be because they rapidly age until they're adults and then they start aging, I think, normally after that. Or maybe they still rapidly age. But there should still be a couple clones alive at this point right i mean all the way up until boba fett people were like we might see rex in the series or something so there are still clones out here but as well there are stormtroopers or maybe they're not complete yet maybe stormtroopers aren't completely a thing um i don't know i don't know for sure well no in the jedi phone order there's stormtroopers so there's got to be stormtroopers out here somewhere just not side by side the inquisitors i guess but yeah lots of questions um very excited to watch episode two, so hopefully you guys join me for that. I'm going to go ahead and edit this for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Then I'll talk about both these episodes together. So, see you guys then.